Hey everybody, it is Saucy, what's going on? Today I'm gonna to do a little quick review on the Lenovo ThinkPad T440P. These both have a 2.6 gigahertz uh, processor. I believe it's the uh, i5-4300M. Um, I happen to get the integrated graphics model, not the discrete, so I don't have an NVIDIA GPU to find out what the performance is. I personally don't think that these should even have an integrated graphics card because the P models they have all in the past have this discrete graphics card and integrated was you know standard. Um, we what we have here is a um, we have a full HD screen on this one and we have the standard 720p in this one and we also have the track trackpad swap and this one does not. I have to say that the trackpad swap is probably essential. I've kind of gotten used to the click pad on the T440P, but when I switched it to this one, I was like, wow, big, big, big difference. I mean, it's it's kind of bearable, but when you go back to the regular track, track point, it's, you know, just way better. Um, I have used the T430 and the Lenovo X1 Carbon 3. I got the X1 Carbon 3 because of the IPS screen, but I was not happy with the keyboard feel. I love the keyboard on the ThinkPad T430, and I really don't mind it being, you know, chiclet. The, the layout changed and everything. Um, so that was the reason why I want to test out the T440s because I don't know how they are in build quality. Granted, these are the P models and not the S or the regular models, so I don't know how those ones are. Those ones are thinner. These ones are not. These ones are thick. And when you remove on the bottom, you have only two screws to get to the to the drive bay or to the you know the bottom end which you have the where's the hard drive at I believe the hard drive is right here you have the uh, RAM over here and then you also have the fan right here um, I did uh, put thermal paste on the uh, on on this unit I put a Arctic Silver 5 this one does not I always hear the, the fan kicking on this one a lot more than this one which is really strange um, for some weird reason uh, this thing's this thing has four gigs of RAM, but when it, but under Windows 8.1 Pro, I seem to be getting like a lot of RAM and CPU usage with Chrome and some some other program. Turns out that Windows Defender or something was running in the background, and it would just take take a lot of resources. Um, this is running Windows 10, and I didn't do the clean install, but um. From from me using it, I I, I put the um, the uh, the Think Vantage systems or or uh, the, the the program finder drivers and tools. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it right now. Uh, it found a lot of the drivers, but I cannot get the track point driver working, and I cannot get Lenovo Power Manager working. I got Lenovo Power Manager working on this one. Yeah, you see it right there. It's it's working right there. But this one, I've been trying to do the steps, and I. For like the past two hours, I've been trying to figure out the track point driver and the battery driver, and I cannot do it, so I'm just gonna not bother with it. I mean, it'd be great to know what 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 the thresholds of the battery are on this, but I can't I can't seem to find out. They use another program to find that out, so it kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's it sucks. I I can't make it work under Windows 10. Windows 7 probably would just work, you know, flawlessly, but. These have when well this one doesn't have Windows 8 uh, or I would say these both have Windows 8 uh, embedded COAs or whatever. This one probably got upgraded from 10. I hope, hopefully, I don't know. Um, so there's that. I have to say that upgrading the screen is probably essential on the P models. I mean, you guys probably see my video of me upgrading the screen, but man, it is so so much better, so much better. It's a, just a direct swap for the P models and S models. T4 regular T440 cannot do cannot do the panel swap. Um, it's a lot better. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. You know, I'll contrast it right now. But um, yeah, it's IPS is back and it's great. I, I have a, my T430s IPS panel, amazing. Uh, but yeah, as far as uh, build quality goes, um, they feel. I don't want to say they feel great, but they felt good. I was happy with my T4430. The build was great on that. T430S is a little bit thinner. It doesn't feel as solid. Keyboard feel doesn't feel as great. 
on these keyboard the keyboard feel is, is pretty good compared to the X1 carbon ugh, it, it didn't feel it didn't it felt weird I guess because of, of it being so so thin or something but I didn't care for it if you're gonna get a regular T440 you'll probably just get an HD panel you might get an HD plus panel same with the, the T440s you will you'll get HD plus but you have the option of, of 1080p um, IPS and I believe the um, touchscreen uh, laptop is IPS also uh, these are both non touchscreen models I don't know if you can tell but usually the computers with touchscreens they'll have a they'll have a, a glass um, a glass lid or a glass uh, you know glass over the uh, the screen and on the bezel and also the bezel is just fully black so that's if you're looking for a laptop and you want to know if it's touchscreen right there if you see there's a there's a black you know bezel it's most likely going to be a touchscreen one these ones are the uh, carbon whatever ones but um or the plasticky the carbon I meant the carbon color yeah. That's gonna be edited out, but yeah. If when we see right here, just the uh, nastiness, and yeah. Um, as far as, as uh, color colors, or I should say, battery life go, both of them seem to be about this, this the same. It doesn't really make a difference on the uh, display. I know that that uh, a higher resolution will get less battery life because the the GPU is gonna be working a little bit harder. Um, here's just a quick picture of. Um, my T430s. This actually uses the uh, the panel from the uh, Dell E7440, I believe. It is a uh, A AOU um, B140 HAN 01.3, I believe. This has a lot more color range rather than that one. If you want to check the gallery, I did compare the two, so you'd see. Um, this that this one has way better colors. This one has 60.2 million uh, in the color field, and this one only has a uh, 242,000, 100,000 in in the color field. So yeah, but otherwise, um, like I said, the track trackpad trackpad swap is essential. You have this thing is is pretty pretty standard. Um, uh oh, is this gonna even open? Well, wow. oh, it shut off. Great, but yeah, this is not not really. I mean, it's it's robust, but it's kind of it's kind of not. What's cool about this one though is that it's just two screws and you get rid of it. Of course, you could get a backlit um, backlit keyboard. I paid about forty dollars for my T four thirty. I'm pretty sure these ones are are about that 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 price. Uh, what's okay? What's good about these is that they, if you have money to spend, it, these are pretty cheap used. You could get these for about three, starting at three hundred dollars used. T T four thirties, some of them go for about three hundred. Um, T four thirty S goes for three hundred. You you could find some for less than that, but um, good luck. But anyways, four hundred dollars and you'll get a good, mind you, the the trackpad. But you'll get pretty much a good laptop. I mean, I used to use my W seven hundred DS to render videos, and when I rendered it the um, the video for the the laptop screen re removal, this took about like about thirty or 20, 20 minutes, I believe, and it was it rendered way faster than my W seven hundred DS. So I'm pretty sure if I had an i seven quad core, it'd be a lot different. I do have an i7 quad uh, processor, but I'm not sure about testing it yet or swapping it yet. But yeah, um, what sucks about these again is just that they come with integrated graphics. Um, I really don't think a P model should be called a, a P model because there's there's a lot of misconceptions going on. All it is is that you could just upgrade the, the processor and you have a, di a, a more a thicker chassis. So that's what makes the P model different from the regular and S. Rather than S and the, the regular model, they're smaller and I guess lightweight, and they're technically an ultrabook. But I mean, c come on, you, you should just Lenovo honestly should just called the base T440 the T440i because that's what it is. It's it's an, it's an i model. It's it's I mean it doesn't have an i3, some of them do, but it's it's basically a, a crappy version of this thing. And 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 the P model should should realistically have the top i5, discrete graphics. 
and you know the options of an i7 but whatever and probably IPS only screens they shouldn't even have HD displays but uh, I'm not I'm not Lenovo and there's a lot of misconceptions right I believe with the, the T440P and T440S and regular T440 bunch of confusing stuff and you also what's cool about the T450 is that you can actually do an IPS panel swap with the T450 just you know by itself you don't need the it's the special you don't need a special cable um, or it's just that you don't need the, the motherboard of T450S you could just do it direct so if you want I mean those are go going a little bit more cheaper they're about like 500 still but still uh, you got a lot of a, a lot of different um, a lot of different options but this this computer is pretty comfy I just I just don't understand the uh, the RAM on this this thing I mean I thought four gigs was, was good enough but I've I've ha I've been having problems with gaming I play league so this I had to run this thing on lowest settings because it was like just choppy and on my t430s I could play league fine you know in the highest under Linux I, I don't know if, if four you know four versus eight gigs is that big of a deal but I I just I just don't understand it, but otherwise I think this is a pretty good laptop. I believe this will just need the uh, 65 watt adapter because integrated graphics. Um, 90 watt is, is I would say is recommended. You can get a little oh let me just go get that little guy. You get one of these little little adapters. Oh it's not gonna focus. <laughs> it's uh you know just it just goes to to a regular. ThinkPad uh, charger and it works great. I mean, I don't I don't have a 135 watt or 170 watt charger yet, but that, I mean, I don't have I don't have a discrete laptop, so it doesn't matter. This video won't be complete without a little check through what we got. We got two two screws. Uh, they look a little bit different from um, normal ThinkPad screws that I mess around with. Also, make sure you take out the battery. Again, T, the the P models do not have the uh, the auxiliary battery; they only have one battery. Um, first of all, what I notice is that there's only this the speaker sucks. The speaker's right here, and that's it. That's all you get. It is just crappy. To remove the ultra the ultra bear, you have to get rid of this screw right here. Go ahead and just push like that. And bam, your little Ultra Bay. We have, I think this is a this that is a little M.2 slot, so you could go ahead and I believe that's uh you could I don't know I don't think you could get the uh, WN option or you could just add it, but that's a, that's a I, I think it's M.2. It might I might be M7. I might be wrong, but you have your heat sink fan right here. It is pr pretty easy to get to. Let's go ahead and take. Take this guy out right here. <laughs> Alright, maybe maybe it's not easy to get to. There we go. And then remove the screws. Yeah, this thing likes to get hot. It's it's uh it's pretty annoying. So yeah. Got that little little guy right there. Oh, I guess I need a little uh, a hex. Well, I'll take that out later. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it to i7. See how it goes. But yeah, no, nothing nothing too special. A, a little bit uh the, the the fan over here is a little bit smaller than than previous models. So that's that's that also might be a thing. My uh, X1 carbon throttle big time. Got your RAM. Four gigs, like I like I said, um, un unlike the uh, the S and the regular model, you have to remove a few more screws, and then you gotta take actually the whole bottom frame. This one, you you have um, you have a few a few screws to get rid of the palm rest, and and then you have some more other screws so you can get rid of the uh, bottom frame. Uh, when I did do the trackpads, the track the the trackpad or touchpad swap. It did take it did take a little bit longer than the normal. Um, the main thing is that is that since um, 
this uses this uses a the new keyboard and you actually have to, to slide slide these um let me see if I could see how there's little like tabs right here you have to slide it back it, it's it's very hard to do because you you you, pr you end up, you end up pressing the uh, the plastics around it but you have to oh my gosh I can't even do it oh that button got stuck great but you have to s slide this ever so slightly back you, you can kind of see it's going a bit but um you get you then you have like the little the, there's like four or five screws that you have to undo and then you can remove the keyboard which again it's just it's just um I think it's just too much. I had this problem on the E4 for uh, E431 S or E431 and not not fun. I don't, I don't know why they 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 had to do it that way. I guess I mean there there isn't really usually you just go back and then push it in forward and it's and it's all latched in, but they decided to go a little bit different than this one. We have just a little if you ever break your little power adapter, it's just a little plug right here. It looks like you can just remove it by taking out that. Um, you might have, it might, looks like there's just a little bracket right there so you can remove that and then boom, you're good. Um, oh yeah, and then let's go ahead and open up this caddy. It is not like other ThinkPad caddies where y you had like a little rubber thing and yeah it's just a little plastic little plastic little guy and you're good three gigabytes per second uh, probably explains why this thing's kind of slow <laughs> um what what's yeah what's this thing they have just enough space you, you you could put it at an angle and then push it in and also on you have a, a little bit of padding right here so that works as like kind of like an impact in a way uh, but you don't have the uh, side impacts because the other caddies they they were just a little rubber thing that goes around here and you're good you know up and down left and right or side by side because it, it, it all took a bit of the, the shock out of that this one is just shock right there and that's that's all it is um, other than that you, you know we still have magnesium frame I believe I don't know this is this frame is probably plastic. This this bottom end, um, I don't know if it's plastic or not. Oh yeah, it it feels it feels plastic. So they, I don't know it, it it's it's good, but it's but then again, it like it's they took they took you know they took the charm away fr from from our ThinkPads. You know, it's it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. Uh, motherboards I've seen are going super cheap. The 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 supply. A lot of people don't like this, be, like these laptops because of you know the touchpad and the new keyboard. And for some reason they're they're just super cheap. I mean you can get a T440, same price as a T430. And I I just I I just kind of I mean I get it, but and also we have the little drain holes, CMOS, RAM. Um, we have we have some extra connectors here. I think I think they're for like the uh, backlit keyboards and stuff like that. Um, oh, also, um, the, if you have a fingerprint scanner, it's right here, and there is a little. Oh yeah, this is for the fingerprint scanner right, right there. So you, you have to remove that and then take it out. So it is a little bit more work if you have to do the trackpad swap on this thing rather than the other ThinkPads. You just remove the palm rest and you know, boom, you're you you're able to replace it. And then we have a little smaller dock right there, but overall, I mean, give, given I, it's it's strong, but it's not strong as other other ThinkPads. I uh, I am a chink uh, a chiclet apologist, so the keyboard feel is is good. It's good. It's not great, but it's not an X301, and it's not a T430 T433P or T43P. Blech. So that's. That's my say on that. But yeah. So I hope you guys like like my review. If not, give it a thumbs down. If you do, give it a thumbs up. But um, I'm back, baby. I'm back. See you guys later.